However, I began to, um, a, one of my colleagues suggested um, a film series, and I, I took the film series home and watched it and began to realize that that was not the case. And that was probably my first introduction to the fact that that, not, that, that was not the case. Mm -hmm. And um, just as not all uh, denominations of Christianity believe the same um, on certain subjects, um, I began to realize that not all Muslims believe the same on certain subjects, mm -hmm. and um, so that was, and that was post 9/11, and so probably that uh, began to prepare me then, so that when I was approached about this, then I was I was. Uh, uh, that's why I probably had less hesitancy mm -hmm. to go, uh, if perhaps I had not seen that film series and had not done some studying mm -hmm. about it, I might have been more hesitant, but yeah. having done some studying and realized that, that, uh, that not all Muslims are alike, mm -hmm. I realized that, that perhaps that the Turkish people were, were not like uh, those who do advocate terrorism. Mm -hmm. Not many people are fortunate. If Unfortunately, you know, not many people understand why that. Would you, why stand before they jump into it? That's why, th that's why education is so very important, mm -hmm. and that's why dialogue is so very important, because I can say, watch this series, or read this book, mm -hmm. or let me tell you about my experience. Mm -hmm. What is the importance of dialogue attempts initiated by Duran? in terms of humanity and peace in the world? Mm. To, uh, the importance of dialogue is to break down barriers and misconceptions and preconceptions. Uh, we all have preconceived notions of what other people are like mm -hmm. and what their lives are like, what their beliefs are like. Um, and generally, those preconceptions are wrong in both directions. They probably have the same, they have preconceptions about, about us mm -hmm. and or about my life, and I have preconceptions about theirs, and they're wrong both directions. And so dialogue is necessary to help correct those notions. And dialogue and education is what it's, what it's all about. seeing all the dialogue uh, attempts and education activities in Turkey. And can you just make a last analysis about it? Well, I'm, I'm just so impressed that in, um, in his lifetime he has been able to make such an impact mm -hmm. um, and that he has been able to build bridges um, to so many faith groups. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't build walls, he builds bridges. Mm -hmm. And that is, that's very, very impressive. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm sure I will learn more about him. But that's, you know, that's, that's my notion to this point. Mm -hmm. And most of the, some of the scholars, they uh, say that Gulen should be appointed as a dominion for Nobel mm -hmm. Peace Prize. That would not surprise me at all. I, mm -hmm. I think he would be an excellent, he would be an excellent candidate for a Nobel Peace Prize mm -hmm. for, his, for his efforts. If you have a chance to um, meet him, oh. yes, what would you tell him? Oh. First, I would uh, oh, I would I would thank him for what he's doing mm -hmm. in his efforts to uh, to really make world peace a reality, mm -hmm. and uh, and through his efforts, uh, how that has in, that has brought an opportunity to my life to visit his country and to mm -hmm. 
to uh, meet personally the you know some of the people of his country and to, to visit firsthand mm -hmm. um, some of the wonderful places and so that would oh that would be that would just be a delight for me to do. Before the trip, you you talk about it a little bit actually. But what did you know about Islam as a religion? What did it mean to you? It really, I really didn't know very much about it at all. Mm -hmm. um, I did not realize that it was as inclusive as it is. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot about it I didn't know. There's still a lot about it that I don't know. And so, like I said, there's, there's a lot that I've got, I've got to read. But um, I think my, my um, impressions were more uh, male domination um, and impressions of, of uh, um, Females very much in the background and, and not being able to achieve achieve their goals and things like this. That has changed as I've met uh, as I met women, young women along the way. Batul, who was one of our tour guides, was a very impressive young uh, PhD candidate in uh, at Rice University and very very intelligent young woman who was achieving her goals and um, and. So she's, she's changing my views along the way. Hmm. So you were saying that the trip actually changed your views? Yes. Yes. And meeting young, young women like yourself who are working yes. on graduate degrees and um, so, yes. Um, how did it feel when you heard Ezan the call to prayer hmm. and then you see people pray together because it should be a new experience for mm -hmm. you. What did you feel? Well, of course, praying together is not a new experience for me. I do that regularly, you know, in my, uh, just this morning, it, it, uh, in my meeting with my colleagues, we, um, we prayed together. And so that's not a new experience for me at all. But um, the call to prayer, uh, I'd heard when I was in Morocco, I heard mm -hmm. called prayer, so that was not new, but it's uh, it's it's nice um, in the United States where we have such uh, diversity mm -hmm. of religions that would be hard to do, but and so it's nice in uh, it's nice to hear it in it's very it's very nice to hear um, it's comforting it gives a it gives a, a regularity to the day mm -hmm. and. Um, I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything that you want to share us quickly behind, you know, beyond this question? I'm sorry, is there anything I, I want to share? Yeah, something special that beyond this question. Um, no, I just had a wonderful, wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I'm just had it. It was a wonderful time, and I was treated beautifully and with great hospitality. Okay. And last thing, uh, the Institute of Interfaith Dialogue has been founded to promote dialogue and cooperation among cultures and religions. And just having experience at the first hand, do you think it is reaching its goal? From my experience, it seems to be. You know. You got cut. Mm -hmm. Thank you.